A customer recently asked me, how do you use the XB blocks in BlockBeProt to send data between two microcontrollers? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the absolute bare bones setup to get a wireless link up and running with two XBs. To do it, we're going to use this circuit. The left side has a flip multicore module, an XB module, and a CM2302 humidity and temperature sensor. On the right side, You'll see the same circuit, but with an OLED and no temperature humidity sensor. I created this because our intern Blake was getting too hot in his office. I wanted to find out what the temperature was while I was sitting in my office. Turns out he was indeed getting up to 80 degrees. Here's a more specific block diagram that might help you. And I'm going to go over the parts and share all the code with you so you could build the same exact project. So you'll see on the left side, the same parts I just showed you previously built. And on the right side is the OLED. The green light blinks, by the way, every time it receives data from the XB. In my project, I'm using two flip multi-core microcontrollers, part number 32123, one CM2302 digital temperature and humidity sensor, that's part number 28059, I'm also using a 96 by 64 color OLED, that's part 28087. And then I'm using this XB USB adapter for programming the XB modules, it's part number 32400. And finally, because I'm using the flip multi-core module, I'm using two XB SIP adapters. If you're using the propeller activity board, you don't need the flip modules or this XB SIP adapter. And finally, the star of the show, two XB modules. I'm using part number 32416. This one communicates up to a few hundred feet, but with high powered modules, you can actually send data many miles. I should let you know that XBs actually come out of the box ready to communicate with each other. But it's always a good idea to get the software from Digi, which is called XCTU, install it and set it up. With this software, we can make sure that they're speaking on the same ID, same channel, and at the same baud rate. So go over to Digi, download that, and then when you're done, you can simply uh, get your XB modules, plug them into the adapter board, and then plug it into a USB cable, like this. Once you've got XCTU up and running, Simply click on the magnifier glass, identify the COM port, click Next, and then Finish. And the XB that is plugged into the XB USB adapter will be found. And then you can add the select device, click on it, it will read what's in the memory, and you'll do a few things here. What you're looking for is to see that the channel and the ID are set to the same thing. I'm going to use C and 3332 on both of them. Once that's correct, go down and check the baud rate to be 9600 DPS, and then simply write these values back to the XB. In my case, they are already correct, so there's nothing to write. Do that for both of your modules. The transmitter code is project 49316 in Blockly. This particular code just writes to the terminal at the moment, so we'll download it and you will see that it's 75 degrees and 36.3% humidity in my office. Now, how do we add these XB blocks? They're under Communicate, XB. And the first one I added, which is already at the top, is the initialize block, so no need for that one. The next two I need are the transmit blocks. We're going to transmit three decimal numbers. Why three when there's only two values we're interested in, temperature and humidity? The reason for that is because we're going to send over an identifier number so that the receiver knows we are getting these in the right order. For example, if we send temperature and humidity and we start receiving, how will it know which is which? We do this by sending three values. And the first one is just a number, and I'm going to use 254. And then I'm going to send the temperature, I'll just copy it from above, and the humidity, also copied from above. That's the final program. So it only took three blocks to send data and then one initialized block. So now when we download, we're actually sending it away. Let's go look at the receiver side too. 
Now we're looking at the receiver code. This is project 49317 in block code. What I'd like to draw your attention to is this loop in particular. You'll notice that this is the main program loop. The first thing it does is it receives a value from the transmitting X feed, and then it stores it in a variable called key. You'll recall that I was sending first the value 254 and then two other variables. 254 means we have valid data and that the next two variables you are receiving in this order are temperature and humidity. So when these three 32-bit variables come across, we know we're receiving them in the right order. The rest of the code simply uh, causes the OLED to have a little green dot blinking, shows it on the terminal, and then displays on the OLED. So let's download and see that it all works, and then get a look at the actual project again. So here's the terminal view. And let's switch over to the OLED, which looks like